2022 has been a great year when it comes to my online content and the absolute worst year when it comes to work and catching up on my due dates when it comes to paying bills and whatnot while recovering from my financial losses from a year ago when I didn't have the foresight that crypto was going to crash. And for whatever remaining time I have until it drops even lower, I took as much as I can possibly take out. And the most I can do is hold on to it until it goes back up in value and not make the mistake of cashing out while it's still up there. So anyways, I'm not here to talk about every single detail in my personal life. So however, there are some exceptions as there are some things that I have haven't really brought up for the amount of time I was online and some of the stuff even predates what I do today. I'm well aware that the growth that I have received from this channel all came from one source and that source being Omega as half of my content revolves around it or a large majority of it and yet I haven't even made a compilation video like most of these other Omega YouTubers are doing and yeah surely that's definitely going to to gain a bit more recognition and whatnot, but the problem I have about making these kinds of Omega videos is the fact that there's too much competition doesn't match what I really wanted to do as a content creator, and yet I'm in this dilemma on whether I should continue on or I should try to branch out and potentially risk alienating my existing audience. Me being the third person in the middle of the call, appearing as an avatar, perhaps making me one of the world's first Omega intercepting VTubers dating as far back as December of 2020, in which I slowly stopped showing my face entirely and had continued on ever since, which it doesn't stop there. I've also had some ideas on what more I can do with it and considering the possibility of changing a couple of things here and there and looked into the idea of utilizing virtual reality to an extent. And for only a couple of months, I've experimented with the use of using VR chat in order to try something a little different than what I normally would do if it was just me. And for that time, I was appealing to both Omega and VR chat audiences within the Omega sphere when I discovered how to connect my Leap Motion controller and VC face to make it look like I'm using a headset without actually owning one myself till the anti-cheat update released sometime around September, which resulted in me being unable to use my mods and decided to just completely stop using VR chat entirely. Also, another major thing that I've been doing is going after child predators, and we're not talking about just some old guy twice my age, I found myself going after high-profiled individuals in the likes that isn't very well known, and me being one of the first few to even brought it up made me a relatively large target to these fringe groups. Although the first time I was doxxed by these people, which led me to stop using Omega for an entire month and a half, and at the time I was looking for a, another job in which I didn't want them to attack me any further as that could potentially potentially get in the way, and at the time I was still figuring out how I'm going to handle it. And although my information may have already been out there, in May, I've taken the time to get rid of whatever else I'm able to remove off the internet by logging into some of my old accounts and one by one removing any remnants of my personally identifiable information to the best of my ability. But fortunately for me, I don't even update my location or even use my home address and the only information that they've gotten that can identify back to me would be some old place that doesn't even exist anymore. So they couldn't do anything more other than to see where I used to live. But that goes to show that if you do plan to go after some really horrible people, let's not forget that some of them attacking you outside of the internet. As a lot of this old information that you think nobody will ever bother to look stays that way, let's not forget that there are some smart people out there that will figure this out and will use it against you. So it's never a bad idea to look back at whatever old contents you might have uploaded in the past and taking the time to remove as much of it as possible as online privacy is becoming even far more important than you would think. Even if you are 
just some person that doesn't have a significant following or even a notable online presence. So after all I've been through and how much I deviated from my original plan, I've come to realize that I've been doing so much of this one thing that I completely neglect the other thing entirely and resulted in less content of that one thing because it is not what most of my audience came to see. And sometimes I feel like whenever I deviate even a little bit, no one will want to watch my content. And that's one of the things that had somewhat held me back from doing anything else if it's not tied back to Omega in some degree. And it's not like Omega is at the best state right now due to that lawsuit that took place over a year and a half ago, probably longer, and might not be around due to legal pressures that no one that I'm aware of seems to even acknowledge. But I digress. Now, it's not to say that I have not enjoyed Omega entirely. On the contrary, it did put me on the radar, and I have been the go-to guy for knowledge about Omega and the tips and tricks and even the hacking side of things as I have been one of the very few people that had figured out the bypass from getting banned and even circumventing those bans to that extent. And despite the demand of people wanting to know the answer, I still refuse to make any content relating to what VPN is used to bypass the band as not only will Omega will catch on and make it unusable, but I've had instances where the actual child predators themselves had used my methods in order to continue to go after their victims with barely any consequences. And yes, they've actually went to my website for answers and I had to go and remove that section to reduce the chances of that said VPN from gaining any traction to be used on Omega. And one final thing that kept me on Omega, aside from the views and the recognition, are the people that I come across. Surely there are a lot of bad actors and people that had said awful things to me, including the use of racial slurs and just coming up with stupid comments and other types of degenerate behaviors in which they can eat easily be skipped. I have met some relatively interesting people that knows what they're saying and even had invited me to join their communities. But being how busy I am with life and other things, couldn't really fully participate in these said communities as I have my own endeavors to work on. And most of them don't really have what I'm typically looking for, but I kept them there just in case I do decide to partake in it to some extent. And I've also met some people with interesting backstories, and some people have even told me about their personal lives in which I wouldn't want to talk about myself, yet they trust me enough to tell me about their lives. Something that most large content creators don't actually do from the looks of it, unless you're someone that's noteworthy enough to keep around. Omega aside, I had some plans about what I want to work on in the future, so in case Omega really does shut down for good, I could just branch out to new endeavors, whichever that may be. I even have plans to work on my own feature-length films to an extent, as I wanted to cover some things that I rarely ever talk about to anyone else. Like some of the people that wants nothing to do with me because I said something that they didn't like, thinking that I mean them harm, when in reality is nothing more than one big misunderstanding which is something that has personally affected me for quite a while now that even to this day I couldn't actually get over as I've had trouble not letting it get to me so much so that it made it very difficult for me to do my daily routines even bleeding into my professional life to an extent wondering if there's ever going to be an end to this I didn't know who to go to to talk about it aside from a few select individuals that can't really help me much on and I'm still determining if I should do it or not. I just felt like that part has to be told somehow as it'll make better sense on where I'm coming from and what I've been through in my life. Like getting closure as an art form 
including certain beliefs that I hold. For those that have seen my live streams, they can say that they might know me to some extent. But for those that haven't, I think it's best that I just make separate videos about certain events that I have recorded a while back but couldn't release it since a large portion of my adventures and recordings are inaccessible to a hard drive that I have with me for a while and could not access it on any computer no matter what I try and the only thing I'm left is to send it to a recovery lab in hopes that they can recover that data so I can make a video on it one day. So that's just one of the things that I kind of also want to work with as well. There are many, many other plans that I have yet to mention. And I hope that this coming new year, some of these plans does in fact come into fruition. And thus, that's one of the reasons why I even made my own website. Not necessarily because I wanted to sell merch, but use it more like a log or a means to share other types of content in text format, in which I do plan to add more later on. There's a lot of funding that I need to raise in order to achieve some of these projects, which are costly. And every little bit helps in order to get me a step closer to achieving these goals that I have on my to-do list, which is ever-changing. But who knows what the future holds for me and my online endeavors. In other words, I do appreciate those that stuck around and supported me, including those who had joined my channel and even donated to me, as well as the friends I made along the way. And I don't think I'll be able to make it this far without your support. It may not be much. The numbers aren't all that impressive, but nonetheless, it still means something to me. Other than that, this is just a beginning for the next big thing. All right. Well, in other words, I'm not sure... Uh... What else am I going to be doing afterwards? If it's not going to be Omega, then it'll probably be something else, but who knows? There's like so many different things I like to do, but I know I cannot do everything at once. So it's going to have to be done one by one. And a lot of other things I need to do, take care of, including, including getting my data back, as well as hoping that I'd be able to finally move out, but... I can't be too sure about that yet, as I still have some more things to take care of before I can do any of that, but who knows what what I'll be doing later on, because I have so many different plans and so many other things I want to work on, but I'll definitely uh, continue on what I'm doing for now and just go from there. Till then, this is LR7. Well, I'm just walking around this meadow that you guys could barely see, and Moving on to the next project and uh, logging out.